eSwab is a multi-purpose collection and transport system intended for any sample that you would normally collect with a standard-sized swab, such as nose, throat, wound, rectal, and other sample types. This is not to be used for situations when one needs a mini-tip swab, NP, or urethral samples, for example. The following video is a demonstration of the use of eSwab to collect nasal samples for MRSA testing. Each eSwab system consists of a sterile peel pouch package that contains a white nasal flocked swab with a pre-molded break point and a screw cap tube with one milliliter of modified liquid Amy's transport medium. eSwab is easy to use. Perform hand hygiene. Put on gloves. Open the peel pouch. Remove the e-swab tube from the pouch. Remove the white swab from the pouch. Place the white swab into one of the patient's nostrils. Rotate five times, pressing lightly against the inside of the nose to collect the nasal sample. Repeat the process in the second nostril with the same white swab. Be careful not to touch the swab below the molded pink breakpoint. This could lead to contamination and incorrect test results. Open the e-swab tube and place the white swab into the liquid. Break the swab shaft off at the pre-molded breakpoint, indicated by the indented pink mark. Leave the bottom half of the swab in the tube and recap the e-swab tube. Discard the broken handle part of the swab shaft into an approved medical waste disposal container. Apply the patient identification label. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. The e-swab fluid is needed to keep bacteria alive. Do not send a dry e-swab as this will lead to unsatisfactory results. If the tube spills its contents prior to inserting the swab, the liquid is completely non-toxic. Simply wipe up the spill, discard the spilled tube, and use the tube from another swab kit. Note that because the bacteria are released into the liquid, if the liquid spills after you have put the swab in it, you must obtain a new swab.